This video is a presentation of the B.H. Carroll Theological Institute rebrand. If you look in the bottom left hand corner of your screen, you'll see B.H. Carroll's existing mark. Legally, they own this logo, but what they don't own is the icon, at least not in the market share for this icon. Two of the big players that are already using something very similar are Expedia and Xbox. But more importantly for this brand, other faith-based nonprofits are using this same icon. With that in mind, we boiled B.H. Carroll down to the very basic level, and we found that the one thing they truly own is the name B.H. Carroll. We found B.H. Carroll's signature from one of his books from the early 1900s, scanned it in, created a vector, and paired it up with the type Theological Institute to create a new brand. The idea behind this is that the school is already centered around the man B.H. Carroll and his legacy and his method of bringing theological education back to the local church. So we thought, why not bring the brand in line with that and center it around that idea as well? We also applied it to things like the letterhead, business cards, and a thesis cover to see how it would hold up in a sophisticated environment. We look to see what it would look like on a polo or a t-shirt. Can you wear this brand? Even though it's a signature, it's older, would it still work? And we feel that it holds up sort of in the same way that an Eddie Bauer type of signature would hold up on a shirt. We look to see what it would look like on banners, posters, trade show booths, and that sort of thing to see if the brand still would communicate well in that application. We also looked at two new opportunities to use the brand, the first of which is the website. We'll be rolling out a new website, especially the front end of the site, uh, in the very near future. With that in mind, this is an opportunity for us to use a new brand, because if you're going to do it, this is a good time to do it. The next opportunity is a new building. BH Carroll will be moving into a new facility in the new year. With that in mind, if you're going to rebrand, now is a good time to do it because this building is a blank canvas. There will be no fee associated with taking down an old brand, only the fee of putting in a new brand, which is a fee that they would incur either way when moving into the new space. For the type palette, we chose Meriwether and Meriwether Sands, a pair of free fonts put out by Google. Now we chose free fonts because this is a faith-based nonprofit and it's important to keep the cost low. So the great thing with these is that anyone on staff can download them for free and use them in any of their print media. But also because they're Google fonts, they're easy to plug in for any web developers that may be working on the project. Lastly, please feel free to be very open and honest with your comments. We look forward to seeing how we can improve based on your feedback. Thank you so much for listening.